Okay, this is just a real short demonstration. Uh, this is a flame retention head burner. And the gun line where the nozzle fits has been set too far back. Now if you look, you'll see all this crap here, all around here. If you give that much longer, you would have plugged this thing up. What was happening is the oil was impinging upon this head. Uh, probably caused some soot formation or maybe some unburned fuel, something like that. Maybe the reason this thing was taken out. I'm going to get the gauge to show where it should be and I'll show you how far off it was. Okay, Beckett makes this little funky tool, a T501 thingy. It's good for a whole bunch of stuff, but one of the things it's good for is determining the depth the nozzle should be. Or the gun line should be, or the gun should be. Uh, you put it in there like that, and we'll see if I can get close enough here. Okay, it looks like it's about, it's actually a little lot farther than it looks, but it's about 3 sixteenths of an inch away. It looks closer than that, but it really isn't. And, uh, it's too far back. And I'll show you how we can adjust that thing to get it right. Okay, if you find that the adjustment on the, uh, the depth of that uh, gun is incorrect, this is an adjustment right here that you can use to uh, to move this back and forth, you just loosen this and loosen this. Now this one here also has another one right there. Uh, this one's blanked off on this burner, but it's another one. Sometimes they look just like that. But you'll loosen that and you loosen the, uh, the thumb wheel and uh, you can move it back and forth. Now obviously the burner is going to have to be out of the furnace to do any of this stuff. You pretty much can't get in there on most of them. Uh, to check this. And that's adjustment of the gun assembly on the flame retention burner.